Okay guys, this is Chainsaw. This video will show you <clears throat> this really cool entity cannon which can fire um mobs or the player. So it's really cool, so it's just TNT with some water in the center. I'll show you how to build it in a minute. So I recommend creative for this unless you have diamond armor with blast protection and that kind of stuff because it's gonna hurt you pretty much with the TNT but here's how it works so you just stand in the water and then you press the lever and the TNT will all blow up and send you really high up like this see that was actually pretty high then you can turn it off, reload And the whole thing doesn't blow up because the water has a blast resistance of 500, and it makes the team holds the the whole explosion inside the water, so nothing really blows up. But yeah, that's pretty much it. And you can um, spawn a few mobs; they would probably die. So I'm just gonna get a pig, and then. The Press this and the pig, the pig died. So, yeah, so how you build this is you need a water bucket, so you make a hole, and then you count seven blocks in each direction one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This is only six. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then you place the water in the center. Water won't flow any further because it can only flow seven blocks. See? So I'm just checking if that was right. Okay, there. Now, you can just um, make a cobblestone 3x3 three three square with a hole in the middle. And then you can just cut off the corners and place a lever right there. Then you just put redstone next to all the water. Doesn't matter what side it is. Just as long as it gets powered. There you go. Now we just check if all the redstone gets powered. You press the lever. There you go, it works. This can just also be a button. It doesn't have to be a lever. That also works. So now you load your player cannon to this. Oops, there. This. There we go. Now you just in the middle, press the button, wait for a second, and then Boom. Yeah, so I guess that's it, folks.